nothing found. Man, these guys have no loot. Why do they even fight? They have no loot. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get those. Nothing there, that sucks. So this really, really increases your speed, but it uses a lot of power. And, and your, your things, like, they go for one cycle, right? So when you turn on... Oh, hey, that's cool. When you turn on your your afterburner, it burns for the whole cycle. What is that? Carbide railgun, show info. 75mm carbide railgun, uses hybrid charge, small. Um, rate of fire... So what do I have? Carbide Railgun 1. Is, is it this? Getting Railgun 1. Getting Rail 1 Electron Blast. I guess I want to change the uh, Electron Blaster out for the Carbide because it's going to be longer range. Docking request accepted. Let me just do that right now. So I'm going to unfit that one. Unfit that one, and then I'm going to fit the uh, fit this into active ship, and then uh, put the ammo in there. Fall off six thousand. Yeah, so this is pretty much the same thing. Slightly longer range, but pretty much the same. Does a bit more, just a slightly more damage. All right, good, good. I like that. Stack all item hanger, and then I can put this back there. Stack all. Great. So that's a gun upgrade, in my opinion. Twelve, seventeen, thirteen, eighteen. But that's like really short range, so it's kind of not that good. Alright, good. I like long range, and we are slightly longer range. Let's continue this. Complete mission. Thank you. Request mission. Some envoys have asked for safe passage. They're afraid of the harmer, and they want a good pilot to pick them up and deliver them safely. You're it. Alright, cool. Two overdrive injector system. Why do I need two of them? So, what are we doing? We're just gonna fly over there and blow things up again, right? Like, you might be thinking, well, this is interesting. We're blowing things up, we're grabbing loot. Like, you know, we just got a, a weapon upgrade at the time. It's not really this interesting because none of the things we're getting are actually very good. So, the, what we should be doing is mining rocks, selling the rocks for money, and then using the money to buy the things that we actually want. Which is better guns than those. So you're, you're, I mean, we've been killing stuff and we've been getting money from killing stuff, so that's kind of good too. I detect no life signs within the habitation module and the communication services in the adjacent security towers seem to be down. I suggest approaching Hotel Kim to have a better look. It's how it appears to be damaged, a cloud of radioactive gas is flowing through the cracks and filling the void surrounding the structure. The corpses floating around the inn are most likely of people who were ejected through the airlock, though that sucks for them. Make sure you have a large collidable structure under entity group selected in the overview settings so you can easily find the structure I pointed out. That's why I turned it on. Alright, well we don't care about that. Approach location. That's why the large collateral structures were on, because we need Hotel Kim. But I'm not going to do that, because it really just fills your thing with junk all the time. Explosions! 
Oh, that sucks. All right, and then we're gonna dock there. We just flew up and got exploded on. We don't even have to kill those guys. We just fly back. I'm not even gonna bother. I mean, the thing is, I started flying back before they spawned, so... <laughs> right, I mean... Why, why fight them when you can just fly away and finish the mission? No dock. Alright, good dock. Setting course to docking perimeter? Alright. I started warping away before the enemies even spawned. So, sure, complete mission. <laughs> Nobody's got time for that. For you, my friend, there's always something. We've come across a narcotics ring that we suspect is helping fund Tahama's operations. Make your way to their warehouse and destroy it. Be ready for a fight to Stasis Web of Fire. So this uh, slows down enemy ships. This is the, the tackling. So if you tackle people, you slow them down and you prevent them from flying away. And let me just see this. Reduces the maximum speed of a ship by employing micro-energy streams, which effectively entangles the target temporarily, thereby slowing it down. It also prevents them from warping, because you have to accelerate into warp. And so if you're being slowed down by the stasis web of fire, you can't accelerate into warp. I think. I, I think. Alright, let's get out there and let's blow things up again. Alright, warp to location. Safety is enabled, oh this. So if you disable the safety, then what it does is, it doesn't ask you before it starts doing illegal things. So now, if you start, if you try to shoot at another player, for example, it will tell you, don't do that. <laughs> but if you turn that off, then you can just do it. Uh, let me keep a distance. Because we, now we have two guns that operate at 6 kilometers. Which is good. Uh, let me get there faster. I mean, apparently I'm recording this at like 12 to 15 frames a second, but the, I'm seeing the game at at least 20 frames a second, so I don't know how accurate that really is. The game might look kind of bad <laughs> for you watching it. Wait, there's more ships? Why are there more ships? Alright, loot all. Lock and approach. Lock and lock. And go faster. Yeah, like it's it's down to 10 frames on the recording. I don't know if that's accurate. Because if it is, it's pretty bad, right? 10 frames a second. I'm seeing it 17 to 18, 17 frames in my game. And it doesn't look bad either. I guess the things move slowly in the game. So it doesn't look jerky and unwatchable for me. I don't know how it is for you guys actually, it might be quite bad. Alright, so we're done there, let me loot that guy. Oh. What? Do all. Oh. 
approach. Wait, didn't I take this? Hold on. What am I doing? I'm approaching the wreck. Alright, good. And then we go through the gate. And we're gonna get there a little more quickly. Let me just stack everything here, stack all. Drive active. So there's probably gonna be more guys. Oh, we just need to destroy... What are we destroying again? What mission location? Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm blowing up one of these structures, I'm pretty sure. Let me just blow up the ships first. Although I suspect I can just, like, destroy the structure and ignore everything else. What is that? Baron Asteroid Beacon... I don't know what I'm doing. What am I blowing up? Alright. It's 9, 8, 7, and start shooting. Good. And... Shoot that guy. Shoot that guy. Great. So let me just loot them first. Uh, nothing. Wait, no, there was something. Alright, loot this guy. And then we need to target those. Metal scraps are good. Alright, approach that guy. Quickly. Oh, this guy actually is closer. And go. Nice. And go. And shoot him dead. Easy peasy. Alright, loot them. Loot. Oh, loot that guy. Lock these three. More scrap metal. Nothing there. Okay, and then approach this one. Fast. Am I here to destroy one of these stations? I want, aren't I supposed to destroy that one? Those guys are dead. Oh, another one. Nice. Alright, so now we have a full set of decent long-range guns. And we've destroyed all the ships flying around here. Okay, we need to destroy one of these things, alright? What am I actually destroying? Read details. <laughs> Destroy the narcotics warehouse. What on earth? Cargo rig. Is that it?
no, it's one of these things. Merlin Baron Asteroid Cargo Rig? Radioactive cargo it's not the it's not the radioactive cargo rig, is it? Baron asteroid. We'll find out pretty soon, but it says narcotics warehouse. And I don't see a narcotics warehouse. I mean, somewhere here. Baron asteroid. Radioactive cargo rig. I'm assuming it's the radioactive cargo rig, but I might be wrong. I destroyed. The cargo rig. And there's a bright light. It's 8 frames a second, maybe I should turn down the graphics. I don't... Uh, that's, can't see what... Okay, so... Where's the warehouse? Where's the... Where's the narcotics warehouse? Oh, uh, do I really have to turn this back on? This is so annoying. Alright, let me just go... Overview settings... Are you kidding me? Large collidable objects. Narcotics warehouse? Where is it? It's there? Why couldn't I select it? Never mind. Never mind, we're here. I mean, I saw the thing on the rock. But I couldn't select it before. That's pretty annoying. Alright, I'm gonna turn that back off. Large collidable structure, seriously. Alright, and we can loot it even. What is it? 10 Mine Flood. I'm gonna leave the 10 Mine Flood there, I think that's illegal. Anyway, reload all. How's our ammo doing? Well, we're using our ammo slowly. Stack all 75 carbide railgun, which is what I already have, right? Uh, yep, 75 carbine railgun. Cool. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. So, let me just put the railgun in. Unfit that, unfit that, uh, fit that, and fit that, uh, put that back, and put the other stuff away, stack those, alright, good, good, great. Complete mission. 
Alright, last one. We've got him this time. Follow these coordinates to catch Tahama once and for all. Note that he'll be heavily guarded by his cohorts. If your shields and armor are depleted and you're close to taking hull damage, warp out immediately. You can either dock at a nearby station and pay its repair shop to fix your ship, or you can use an armor repairer module while in space. Right, I'm gonna Merlin for killing him. Ship restrictions. Black. Okay, you can't use. Wait. Oh, that's easy. You can use. You can use black ops ships. You can use battleships. <laughs> All right. Sure. Ah, uh, no. Stop. 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 Um. Accept. All right. So we're gonna finally fight the final boss. And we're gonna see if we can defeat the final boss. I'm pretty sure we can. <laughs>